welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Well, I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Rangunandan, who is the Deputy Director General for International Relations for the Government of India, Ministry of Communications and Department of Telecommunications. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about the fact that there's considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies on ICTs as an enabler for good for development, for the benefit of people, families and communities, and nations, of course. And I wanted to ask you, what's your perspective on this? First of all, let me thank you, thank ITU and also the host country, UAE, for making such a wonderful uh, arrangements here. It is flawless. I have seen, uh, of course, it is my first PP attending, and it is really flawless. We thank uh, both the host government as well as ITU for making such excellent arrangements here. We are really comfortable. So coming back to your question on ICTs, certainly ICTs do play a role in every aspect of life as you see now today. So certainly my perspective and everybody's perspective is that ICTs definitely have encompassed and then they play a larger role in the human development as well as the communities and then uh, sustainable development goals as we have seen that uh, then certainly it's an accepted fact which we have to move forward and take it how best it can be used and harnessed. Now this plenipotentiary conference is the first since the world agreed on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I wanted to ask you what is India doing in order to try and uh, drive sustainable development through ICTs in your country? I can just give you an example of uh, one of the major initiatives taken by India in the use of uh, ICTs for the Sustainable Development Goals, especially we have uh, done that uh, on uh, Chendan, Aadhaar and Mobile. If you see a jam treaty, we call it in India, one of the major uh, initiatives India has taken where Chendan means bank accounts and then the Aadhaar means a digital identity which India has uh, on its own developed that uh, digital identity related uh, technology and uh, policy and regulatory framework and also the mobile. So these three together, so I say the bank account and then these three together India has used it for the direct benefit transfer, so wherein you could actually use the technology for the, not only for the purpose of the communication and then it is for empowerment of the people. So through this Jandan, uh, Jandan Aadhaar and mobile linking, it is empowering and making the citizens who have the right to get their uh, due, especially the subsidies and other uh, uh, government targeted uh, subsidies, etc., which can reach them at their own fingertips. So, and then this uh, Jandan Aadhaar Mobile uh, Trinity has actually saved the government of India of the order of nearly, in terms of Indian rupees, 90,000 crores. And in, uh, if you say in uh, US dollars, it is around 12 to 13 uh, billion dollars. And whereas we have spent around 2 to 3 billion dollars for the whole 1 billion uh, population, hardly some 3 billion, 3 dollars per uh, the, the whole implementation part of it. it it's really uh, that, that. And then it is really helping them to bring the below poverty line people and those who really require the economic assistance from the government to upliftment through the, the ICT's use. I must say that around 300 million uh, bank accounts are open. This is possibly the largest initiative in the world, unique and the largest initiative in the world, which we can say that we must take it to the ITU platforms and our uh, honorable minister and vice minister, they all, on every platform, it is in line with our uh, honorable prime minister's vision and that is as part of Digital India. And then this is one of the major initiatives taken through the Sustainable Level Development Goals. Yeah, that's wonderful news. And, and also, in, in very much in people's minds, is the fact that about half the world's people are connected to the internet, the other half is not. I wanted to find out, what is India doing in terms of getting everyone connected? Yeah, India has taken a, certainly our uh, Honorable Prime Minister's stress is on the Digital India project. And as part of that, uh, one of the major projects again undertaken is the Bharatnet. Bharatnet is a project where we have undertaken to connect. Almost connecting the unconnected is a major uh, objective of the scheme. And there are 600,000 villages in India, which is, uh, and this project aims to connect all the 600,000 villages at the government cost. So through a levy of a certain uh, universal service obligation fund, India has adopted this uh, methodology. Of course, many nations have got many methodologies. India has adopted this methodology and then used this fund. In addition to that, government of India also puts its own uh, funding on this project and then ensured that almost we are, we, can, we are happy to say that we are halfway through nearly. 115,000 uh, villages have been, uh, cluster of villages have been already collected. That means nearly 
250,000 villages uh, have been already connected. And then uh, it is not only just connectivity. The project aims to have a, not only connectivity, coverage, and holistic approach. Connectivity part, and then the coverage, and then ensuring that these, uh, the solutions are also uh, given uh, so that government to citizen uh, services can be also extended through this uh, as part of this project itself. So as part of this project, not only this connectivity, and even the Wi-Fi, a, millions of, uh, a million of Wi-Fi hotspots is also going to be installed so that the locally, uh, the communities individually can uh, be accessed to the, through that, uh, um, these access points. Well, you sound, sound very much like you're definitely playing your part. Now, you've obviously got your finger on the pulse. I wanted to offer you now just a, a final opportunity to, uh, for a message here for participants to uh, speak to them directly and, and also to our wider audience as well. Oh, certainly, it is. Uh, uh, we thank you actually for giving us the opportunity. And uh, as I told you, my PP18 is my first uh, uh, opportunity. I, it is a great learning process here, and I must thank ITU for this. And then, uh, as far as the ICT development, as I already shared, uh, India wants to not only develop this and then wants to share its own experiences and then its own uh, uh, um, policies and regulatory frameworks uh, to the other uh, parts of the world through various, various uh, regional initiatives, etc. I'm happy that the outcome of one of the council meetings here in PP, the first is on 27th, uh, council has adopted uh, uh, establishing a local ITU local area office in India which has come through successfully, through which India would like to take it forward. The many initiatives of ITU, as a strong partner of ITU, we believe that ITU should take it forward. So hence, India has uh, sponsored this uh, uh, establishment of the ITU office, through which we would like to take forward all the initiatives for the inclusive development and then the digital, for bridging the digital divide. Well, we look forward to catching up with you again in the future, uh, yeah. maybe uh, from the ITU office in, uh, in India. And thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thanks, you. Thanks a lot. We welcome you all, and then we would like to definitely uh, invite all the uh, ITU staff uh, concerned for this. Thanks. Yeah, we look forward. Mr. Rangan, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes.